let's open up the Stray Kids new comeback, shall we? So I know this video is going to be a little bit late. I had ordered these albums from not a Korean website, and so they took a little bit longer to get to me, but I do finally have all copies of Stray Kids S-Class 5-Star, including the four digipacks that I ordered as well. I am thrilled. <laughs> I have already bought a set of the photo books myself at the Target that was near me. So I have seen the photo cards, I have seen the photo books, but this is the first time doing an actual unboxing. I do have all of my member digi packs as well as a full benefit set. Plus I do have a couple of other benefits, including the Lino that's currently on my albums that I introed the video with. So the website that I ordered from actually gave me these two noisy pops because I bought so many albums and these are fantastic. I don't know how they figured out that Lino and Ian were my biases, but this is the second time they've given me Lino. <laughs> I do also have a full set of Apple Music photo cards. I was able to get a full set when I pre-ordered, this was the pre-order benefit from the website. And I love these. I think these are so cute. I'm definitely going to keep the full set because why not? This Han is literally so precious. But yeah, I'm really happy I have a full set. I didn't know if I was going to like the full set of photo cards, but I definitely do. And I'm going to keep them all. <laughs> It also came with this sticker sheet. It's like a special sticker sheet, which is kind of cool. I haven't seen this before, so. But now I am going to take all of the plastic off of the albums and then we will go through the photo books and then the digi packs. Alrighty, so all of the plastic are off the albums. I just realized this one, oh my God, this one's actually really damaged. Oh dang. Okay, well, good thing I did have extra copies because um, that's bad. Like, I'm okay if albums get, like, dinged a little bit, but, like, this whole rip is so bad. But, anyway, here is the whole album. And then the one thing I do know is that all of the, like, inclusions are in here. And so now we can look through the photo book. Like I said, I have seen like this photo book before, and I think honestly, outfit wise, this might be one of my favorites, just because they all look so edgy. I love the edgy. I'm a fan of edgy concepts. I'm a fan of edgy music. I'm a fan of outfits like the whole shebang is perfect to me. I do also love with these albums how there are different page textures like the super high gloss and then now like the it feels very much so just like regular old like cardstock type paper and then once it gets into the regular album it goes to like a matte paper and I love that But yeah, I know that this album came out a few weeks ago already, like a couple weeks ago, but again, this is the first time I have all of my album versions, and I really did not want to wait until I got this order in. Oh, hi Felix. <laughs> I didn't want to wait until I got this order in because I knew it was going to take a little bit longer, and I don't mind, but I knew that with the photo cards that I wanted, I would need to have two full sets of albums anyway. So that's why I went to Target and I got my Target copies. So if you hear me say that I pulled a dupe in my album, but it doesn't seem like a dupe card from like this unboxing, it's because I pulled it in a previous one. But Han looks so good here. I love this outfit on him. I love this concept so much. Here, try to see zoom in a little bit better. I was very thrilled watching these concept pictures drop. 
just because like having peak here Hyunjin back I love it I loved having peak here peak <laughs> pink haired Hyunjin wow didn't realize that was going to be a tongue twister but we had him for very very briefly had him for very briefly in back door I don't even know if there were any like photo cards with his like pink hair then we have the CD and it's the same as the front of the cover which is really cool I love the dragon photo cards okay and so I got the red booklet I didn't realize that the booklets were actually going to be like random because I had gotten one of each in my Target albums. There are three different photo books. There's a red, a yellow, and a blue. And I got all three different ones, so I didn't realize that, you know, the mini photo books are random too. Then we do also have a giant poster. There is like going to be no way I'm going to show the full thing, like, in frame. It's just not possible. <laughs> but here we have all of the inclusions. So I'm seeing if, okay. Because I wanted, I don't want to see any of my inclusions. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm going to start with the postcard. I am collecting OT8 for the postcards again, like I have in the past. And I believe I have Hyungline and Han are the ones that I have. So three, two, one. And it's Felix! Oh my gosh! I know I don't have Felixes! That's so nice! He's so pretty. I love Felix. I love him so much. Okay. Um, the other inclusions are the stickers so here's one set of stickers and here's the other set of stickers and then there's also this like i don't know if it's technically a sticker or a postcard but it's a little like comic book style thing let me put that underneath the sticker since it's not cohesive okay so these album come with two photo cards. I do obviously see this one. I know that this is like the double-sided card, obviously. I just don't know who it is. So three, two, one. And it's Benny! I have pulled this card before, but I did trade it with one of my friends for a different card I needed. So it's nice to have you back, Benny. I'm, I want to like see what they all look like with their like fingers making the star, but... I'm not collecting OTA for that set. And then this is the other photo card. Three, two, one. <gasps> it's this Lino. I have this Lino. I literally pulled two of three Lino's photo cards and this was one of them. But that's fine. Okay. Well, that's still exciting. Like, I love, I still love trading and trying to find trades. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap all this up and grab the next album. All right, here is the second version of the album. This one's not damaged, so that's lovely. Um, I definitely, like I said, don't really care about like a little, hello. <laughs> I don't care about like little dings or nicks here and there because obviously things can happen in shipping no matter how much protection there is. But that album was messed up. <laughs> And then go into the paper. And so I think, I don't think the layout of the checklist is the same. Hi, Lino. I love this Lino. This, this specific picture of Lino is fantastic. But yeah, I don't think the layout is the same with each album in terms of like the title track and the pictures, but it's like the same gist of it. Um, so I'm not gonna lie I honestly don't like 
when songs that are originally in Japanese get translated into Korean. I noticed that a lot of the time, and this is for pretty much every single K-pop group that has Japanese releases, there are many songs that are like the, the title track, the promoted track of the um, album that on the next Korean album that gets translated into Korean. Honestly, I don't think any of them sound better than the Japanese version. And I love the sound. The sound is probably my favorite um, Japanese track that they've done. So listening to it in Korean, it just did not, <laughs> it did not sound right. It didn't sound how it should. And I don't know if that's just because I heard the Japanese first, because there have been songs that have been translated to Japanese that I did end up liking a lot, translated from Korean to Japanese. But I don't know. I do love the rest of the track list though. I'll go more in depth with like my favorites and everything with the next album, but I want to say that Five Star track wise is probably in my top five Stray Kids albums. I think they did a fantastic job and the songs all sound very unique from each other. And that's something I heavily enjoy when it comes to like music in general as if the album itself doesn't follow one path, one genre. I think it's super interesting. And we have the CD here. There's a regular CD, but it's got the same cover as the front. All right, and then let's see. I got the yellow book this time. So that's cool having the different um, books again. I hope that I get the blue book in one of my other albums. That way you all can see what, what that looks like too. It's just the other concept, so. But there's still extra photos in our lovely, I don't know why I was doing that. <laughs> and then of course the poster again. This one might be a little bit easier to show. I don't think you can see everyone who's on the bottom, but yeah, that's the general gist of it. Okay, so for everything else, I'm just going to leave the postcards in there because I know that they're the same, the postcard and the stickers. So for the postcard, we got three, two, one. Oh, and it's Han. I love Han. I already have you, but I love you. You're so precious. I love the different styles of this. It's so cool. Okay. Now I do have two photo cards. I do see another peace sign photo card. And I'm pretty sure this is one I've already pulled before, if I'm right. Yep, it's Hyunjin. <laughs> I have pulled Hyunjin's uh peace sign card before and i recognize it because his nail is painted but it's still super cute i love this hyunjin a lot but that's so funny that i've pulled now two like photo cards that i've already pulled now this one i am super excited for because the dragon back sets are the close-up photo cards and i am collecting ota for them so i hope that this is someone i don't have <gasps> Oh my god, he's so cute. He's so precious. I love him. I love him. I love him. He's so good. Uh, okay. Yay, that made me so happy. Oh my god. Okay. Um, we still have two more albums to go plus the digipack, so I'm gonna try to make it quick. Okay, here is the last of the regular albums. This is the last version of the regular photo books, but then we still have the limited left. And so just taking out the inclusions real quick. So here is the blue version. Ooh, you can see it kind of damaged, at least on this page. 
Mm, I think all the glossy pages are kind of damaged, but that's okay. Ooh, completely skipped over Lino. I like the dark, darker, darker concept of this album a lot. I think it's really pretty with the lights, like how Superman is like being beautifully illuminated. Like, thank you. Yeah, so for the rest of the track list, so I really did like S Class. I was kind of um, nervous when the uh, teaser for S Class came out and then the TikTok challenges with the chorus dance. I got nervous only because I wondered how they were going to tie that in with the rest of the song. Um, but I think they did it really well. It's super catchy. I know a lot of people said that it would take them some time to like get used to the slower second verse, but I love the little bit of a change up. I think it's genius. The rest of the songs, I think my top favorites, I know that, um, item is my favorite of the B sides. I think item is so fun and like it's video game rock like how cool is that <laughs> i do think that hall of fame is another one of my favorites i think collision is up there as well and i also think that beautiful is one of my top as well i think it's in my top five a lot of people weren't ready for beautiful because you know, it's Stray Kids, like fun, silly, goofy, haha. -ha. And then you realize like their mixtapes are like very heartfelt. And we have Han Ji Sung who literally like all of his uh, skiz records, skiz replay, whatever's are like super heartfelt. So it's like, why, why wouldn't you expect a heartfelt song called Beautiful? Like a combination of you and beautiful. I don't get it, but it's one of my favorites for sure. I was really shocked to hear that um, Super Bowl was going to be the title track instead of God's Menu. Because first of all, God's Menu was my first comeback with Stray Kids. And so knowing that this song has been in the depths since before then is kind of crazy to me. And I'm actually very glad that they went with God's Menu first and then did Super Bowl because I don't think the world was ready for Super Bowl. I don't think they would be ready if it had dropped then. But then we got the CD with the actual five star. I think this album is gorgeous for sure. All right, and so we do have the yellow photo book again. So I'm not gonna go through that again, but the poster is different. I think this one is another it's another horizontal poster. I have no idea. Okay, you can kind of see all the members. Except a little bit of Chris. <laughs> Alright. So then for the inclusions, for the postcard... Ooh, will you focus? Okay. For the postcard, we got three, two, one. Christopher. Hi, Ben Chen. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I have his because this does not look familiar to me. I don't know whose I pulled because this does not look familiar, but I'm nonetheless happy to see him. Okay. First of the photo cards, we have Felix. Oh my gosh, this is the first Felix pull of the photo cards anyway. But it's Felix! I love Felix. He's... <laughs> All of my biases besides IN are so hard to trade for. It's ridiculous. I don't know why I chose my bias line to be like the more popular members. But they're just silly, funny, goofy little guys. And that's why I like them. <laughs> okay, this is another close-up card and I'm so excited. Three, two, one. It's Yanjin! I don't have Yanjins either! Oh my god! 
Oh my god, am I gonna complete my OT8 set before anything else? That's a lie. I completed Lino first out of all my members. Oh, but that's so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna put this back and we're gonna move on to the limited version. Alrighty, the last of the photo books is the limited version. I think overall, I think the limited might be my favorite in terms of like, or one of my favorites. I think the dragon cover is my favorite out of all the concepts, but I really like the artwork and the different colors of the limited version. Plus, once we look at the CD, the CD is so cool. Yeah, so the limited doesn't have its own, oh, it's, it's coming apart. Do you see that it's coming from apart from the book? It's fine, it's fine. I'm not stressed about it. Um, Okay, I had to do some slight adjusting with the camera to make sure that everything was in frame still. But I think overall, like, with everything that comes in all the different albums, that my favorite would be the limited. Concept-wise, the dragon one, but overall, I think the limited. Hmm. I actually used to have a stuffed tiger like this when I was younger. So that was kind of cool to see. <laughs> but yeah, I also have been, I've been keeping up with all of the like stages that Stray Kids have done. And I am so happy that they just keep winning. <laughs> like, I think they just won either their fifth or their sixth trophy for this comeback and I'm very happy for them with that because they definitely deserve it. I know from working with, uh, I know from being here since like God's Menu there weren't like too many wins for them and I am a person who believes that a music show win does not indicate if you have good music or not. Sure, winning is nice. Winning is very, very nice. But there are a lot of groups out there who don't even get nominated who have phenomenal music. So I don't really take, like, whether they win or lose to heart. Like, I'll try to, like, help them win if I can. But I'm not pressed about things like that. I'm more so into our they having fun making music is the music fun for me am i going to enjoy listening to it rather than oh this music is great because it was able to get so many wins like no <laughs> i think that's very flawed logic in my opinion and i know other people have other strong opinions like that that differ from mine but not saying that music shows and voting and streaming like I'm not saying that's not important I'm saying that in general you should listen to the music because you enjoy the music and I enjoy Stray Kids music and therefore I listen to it a lot they put out bangers and yes they should be recognized for putting out bangers also the uh the part of the CD case is like sliding up so it keeps making noise i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah see what i mean by i think like the cd is one of my favorites there it goes i really like the cd i think this would be really fun to post like a video of watching it go into like a clear cd case and like spinning around i think that'd be a lot of fun so, good news, we do have a blue photo book, so we are able to look at that. I do like the, um, like, dusty texture of it. I think that's really cool. They're all so fine. So, there are actually two posters with the limited version. I'm going to show the regular one that it comes with that comes in all the albums first I had to figure out which one it was 
but this is another vertical poster. This one's a little bit cooler to like try and get all in frame. So at least there's like different stages of it, if that makes sense. There's different sections, and so it's a lot easier to show everything. Okay, now the actual other poster is member specific. In my other one, I have Hyunjin. So let's hope I don't get Hyunjin because I want a different member. <gasps> oh, and it's Han. Oh, and it's Han. Well, this was made for me. <laughs> this is this is my the album for me. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have Han. I might actually hang that up. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a poster type of person, but it might just swing me one way or another. I don't know if I ever showed the envelope the inclusions are in, but this is the envelope the inclusions are in. It's kind of rad, but there is an extra inclusion in here and it is this little card. They look, it looks like a film slide type thing, but it's got all like different members in it. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, and it's just plain on the back. But it feels like a like a matte postcard type feeling. But the other inclusions are the same. So looking at the postcard first, three, two, one, and it's Felix. I do have a friend who is Felix biased, so I might see if they would trade me one that I'm missing for Felix. I don't remember if they pulled Felix or not. Okay. We got another peace sign card. I don't know who this is, so we'll see. Oh, it's Leo! Do I have you? Do I have you? I don't know if I have you. I don't think I do. But that's fantastic. That's cool. Okay, we'll take it, we'll take it. And then the last photo card is Ian. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's so precious. Oh my gosh, I've only pulled one Ian this time and that is so whack. What's absolutely crazy is that in all of my photo books, I have not pulled a single Sungmin besides like one photo card. And I have a Makne line curse when it comes to like pulling photo cards. So I typically pull a crap ton of Sungmin and Ian, but I have not. I pulled one photo card of Sungmin and now only two of Ian. So that's kind of whack. But I will go ahead and put these away and I will grab out the first of the digipacks. Okay, so actually all the digipacks fit in frame, so I'm going to keep them all here because I don't think there's going to be too much to go through. But here is Han's version. It actually has his name like up here, and so that's really cool. It's printed with soy ink. That's so cool of them to do that. Okay, I don't know where everything is, so I'm going to take a minute to try and figure out where all the inclusions are. Okay, so I did it. I figured out where everything was. So here's the inside of the digi pack. And so I'm going to put him right here for now. But his little photo book is so cute. It's just the same. Like, it's the cover. Oh, he's a little damaged too. What the heck? All right. There's nothing in here, is there? No. Okay, good. So there's the track list again. Oh, he looks so good. I don't know what's this from. What is this from? This is from the music video. But, like, this is the only concept of, like, this type that we get. But he looks so good. I love this one. Oh, it's a long thanks, too. That's cute. And then everyone else's. Actually, no. Oh, wait. That might have been, like, the the group thanks to, and then the individual members. Well, that's cute. There's also this little, this little like fold out. So that's kind of rad. And Makne lines on the back. That's cute. Okay. So I do know, I think, is it the, I don't know which version is which, but this is the, um, Okay, I'm having a lot of focusing issues with the photo card, as you can see. Maybe that'll help. Um, 
But yeah, I do know that this is member specific and he's so cute. Look at him. Oh my gosh. I love the backs of these cards. They are fantastic. Okay, this one's a little bit bent, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, Han, stop. This one's a little bit bent, unfortunately, but it's okay. If it's one of my members, then I won't be trading it. It's Sugman! Sugman in the building! This is where he decides to show up. <laughs> is he holding popcorn? What a homie. But yeah, so this must be like the pre-order card. So we'll, uh, we'll work with it. I'll work with it. I forgot to show also that there is a little mini like lyric fold out for the different... Oh, there we go. For the different songs. So that's cool. So next we are going to go through Felix's cover. And it has his name on the side as well. And so here's Felix's. The inside is the same. I forgot to show the CD in the last one too. Oh wait, they are different. Wait, the CDs are different. I'm going to have to go back and show Hans. Okay, I had to take the albums off of the screen because they just were not focusing on what was up front if I had their faces, so we're just going to move them off to the side. But here is Felix's book. It is so cute. Like, I love this concept. Why does he look so good? I am a blonde haired Felix supporter, enthusiast. It's honestly it's my favorite hair color on him, and I know he likes it too, so. But yeah, that's. Move that in the middle. The little lyric poster is the same, so I assume it's the same throughout the versions. Plus, the little fold-out is the same as well. And so the first card, I obviously know who it is <laughs> because we've just pulled it. So it looks like they're not like member-specific at all, which is fine. I don't mind trading. I wish that one thing was like member-specific, but it's okay. But the pre-order card... Felix! Oh my gosh! Hi, Felix! Nice to see you, dude. <laughs> wow, that was nice. That's a nice surprise. So I at least got, like, one of my biases per album so far. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to Lino's. Okay, so here is Lino's Digipack. His name is on the side. The backs are the same, at least. The middle is also the same, but his CD is different. Ooh, he's got a white tiger in his. I love it. If you don't know that much about me, I love big cats a lot. <laughs> yeah, again, the front of the photo book is just the front of the digi pack. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's gorgeous. I love the warm light that they used on this. It looks so good. Like, look at him! That's, a, again, a little bit damaged. That kind of sucks. I don't know what, like, could have happened to the albums because they were packaged, like, decently nice. Like, there wasn't, like, the box itself wasn't damaged at all. So, I don't know. Then there's the lyric card again, and the fold out again. So the first card is a new card, so that's fantastic. Three, two, one. It's Benny! Oh my gosh, Chong Ben, hi. Fancy seeing you here. Looks good. I like the hat on him. And then the pre order card is also Benny! <laughs> Man! Do I have, like, a Changbin curse this era? Like, hello? 
I mean, I like this concept a lot, so I'm not too mad about it. And then lastly, we have IM's cover with his name on the side and the back is the same as the others. Inside's still the same, but the CD. Oh, the CD looks cool. Wait, there we go. The CD looks so cool. The little explosion. Oh, the top of his is a little bit damaged too. That's not too bad, but still kind of sucks. Here is the photo book for him. Oh my god, he looks so fine. He looks so fine. I can't. And he's grown up so much. Ooh, star pants. Those are cool. They made him look so pale here. He looks like he should be from Twilight. <laughs> I don't get why anyone ever wants to whitewash idols. I get like beauty standards and all that stuff, <laughs> but I don't agree with it. Let them have their natural skin tone, please. <laughs> the lyrics and the fold out. And if I'm and if I'm going to guess correctly based on the back of this card, this is IN's photo card. Oh, he's so cute. Why is it bent? Why did these get so bent? I hope that like fighting traits will be too hard because I'm not super stingy about like bends like these if they came from the album like that, but I don't know. Some people are very stingy when it comes to like trading damaged cards <gasps> and it's Ian's! oh my god yay so i at least have i'm only missing lino i'm only missing cards from lino how dare he he showed up in the album didn't show up in the digi packs it's fine okay i'm gonna bring everything on to screen real quick and then we'll close out the video okay i tried to get all the albums in frame and i definitely can't do that if i lay them out completely flat but I am so happy with the pulls that I do have. I'm happy to finally have all of my albums. It brings a weight off of my shoulder to know that this is finally complete in terms of albums. Photo card wise, there's gonna be a lot of trading I'm gonna have to do, but that's okay. I don't mind trading at all. I think trading's a lot of fun. But overall, I loved the S-Class album. I think it's one of my top five four straight kids. And I am so excited to continue to listen to it on repeat. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you for coming to my channel. And I hope to see you all on my next escapade of my photo card and K-pop collecting journey.